time comes when silence is betrayal. I come to this platform tonight to make a passionate plea to my beloved nation. Welcome to Maroon City. Maroon City is a grassroots initiative started by Chase Emanuel that attempts to stimulate the desire for knowledge about Latino and black culture. The product basically consists of a series of informative microdocs that depict the specific social and historical implications that have faced minority over time. Jason Mann graduated from UVA with a BA degree in sociology. He is now the assistant teacher at Curry School of Education in UVA. His brother, Ryan, is a video major at Berkeley. Chase and Ryan are trying now to try to make the biggest media organization in the country. Chase Emanuel named his company Maroon City because of two main reasons. First, he wanted his company to represent the Maroon people, which signifies strength and resilience. And second, he wanted to name his company after a part of black history that isn't commonly studied in high schools and at universities. The Maroon people themselves are runaway slaves from the West Indies and the Americas who lived in the Caribbean jungles and survived for many centuries. Chase created Maroon City because he felt that schools and books were not providing sufficient enough information to supply the students in the subjects of history. No. <laughs> As a result, he began Maroon City so that he could teach students about different cultural aspects in history. In doing so, he plans to target Latino and Black American students so that they may identify with their culture and find their place in society. In targeting our investors, we plan to promote our business and to obtain investments. We feel that the market lacks a place in which educational videos um, are not there to inform students of minority studies. Our online source will work best because social media has become very popular and developed over the years. Maroon State is seeking to get donations and investments from both local and regional companies. Most of these companies will be owned and run by minorities themselves who are seeking to promote the further education and the understanding of minority culture and history. All of our contact information, such as our mission statement um, contacts, about us page, and documentaries will be listed online. Our emails will be sent out so that personal interaction can occur between our investors in Maroon City. When people think of Maroon City, we want them to think of us as an ultimate online resource for historical content, more specifically towards minority races and their history. We find that keeping an online blog will keep our investors and followers up to date about our current status as we move on to a national and global company. We plan to expand both online and across top tier universities across the nation. Our online application will be used so that investors can see the progress at these universities and the furtherment of minority studies. Students at these universities will create short micro docs that will be added to the national database. Our second market will be the school district. In targeting the school district, we plan to gain acknowledgement in the education field, to provide culturally enriching information to students that they all can relate to, and to provide schools with innovative methods of educating and teaching the students. We also will act as an interactive resource for everyone to use, not just Latino and Black Americans. Our demographics will be 30 and below, specifically high school and college students. Why do we choose to target the school system? Schools educate students. They hold the future minds of society. We rely on schools to instill cultural awareness that drives student identity. And schools are always looking for new methods of teaching. So as Maroon City, we will provide that alternate platform that displays the history in a global context. Our target uh, method will be using YouTube and TeacherTube both online video streaming websites which are established, reliable, and easily accessed by students and teachers uh, every single day. Um, it will be useful to use these websites because we can easily link the videos to our other media and website to uh, bring more awareness about our product. Um, marketing tactics. Our traditional marketing will be using letters, um, posters, or emails to school boards while using social media to um, further advance our product. We'll put uh, short uh, trial videos on our websites that will display content from the microdocs and also raise awareness. Our third target market are the community-based organizations. Basically what we would like to achieve is to have all these organizations promote and sponsor Maroon City 
therefore attracting their, men their many members to the company so we can get a lot of sponsors. And we can we'll also plan to do this by using Twitter. Our market strategy targets community-based organizations such as the NAACP and the Hispanic Scholarship. We plan to target community-based organizations because they have strong pools in their communities and they have respective reputations. We believe that using such organizations will help benefit our community because they help stimulate the education of minorities. As previously mentioned, we plan to use Twitter as our main promotional platform for the community-based organization segment, basically because Twitter only allows 140 character messages, keeping the messages we send out short, sweet, and to the point, meaning we have to stay objective at all times. Also, Twitter is very accessible to the public, so anybody who doesn't have a Twitter account can still see our posts, and if they're willing to learn about Maroon City, they can contact us by making an account on Twitter. Who are Maroon City's main competitors? Well, because Maroon City is such a unique company, it relatively has no indirect competitors. However, it has several, it has several indirect co competitors, not direct competitors. Those are the libraries, the books, and educational programs such as PBS, the National Geographic, and History Channels. These educational programs can be seen to competitors because they show documentaries just like Maroon City. This slide represents some of our uh, competitive advantages that we have over any indirect competitor or any direct competitor that may arise. Our product is innovative, interactive, and has captivating material uh, on minority history that has not been displayed or taught to our students. Through the implementation of YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and our blog, Maroon City's unique and innovative ideas will reach a variety of demographics who are interested in the further education of Latino and African American studies. Though all social mediums will be used equally, Facebook will act as our basis to reach the students, the teachers, and the investors, and the general public.